You have multiple operating systems on your PC and want to configure the start menu of your computer, also called Grub, then this video is the right one for you. Keep on. Welcome all. For this video we will need an extra application. We could install it by going to the software manager of Linux Mint or any other software manager on your distribution. Then we search for Grab Customizer. Here we have Grab Customizer. We click on install, type in our password and authenticate us. The installation process shouldn't take too long. Great, here our Grub Customizer is installed. So I go to our menu and search for it. Grub Customizer, perfect. Then start it. Let's type in our password and it is loading our configuration. That could take some time. Here we have our list configuration of our start menu. Please keep in mind that these Ubuntu entries here are for my Linux Mint on this machine. So Grub Customizer doesn't distinguish between Ubuntu and Linux Mint. So uh, these are Ubuntu <laughs> entries in my case. For example, if you have installed Windows or other operating systems or Linux distributions on your computer, then here all entries to them are shown. That's perfect. And let's head over to our general settings where we can set our default entry. The default entry is this entry, which will be automatically selected of the start process of our computer. Here we could predefine something. The default of our default entry is the first entry we have in this list. Um, but uh, yeah, here you could decide you to a specific entry, maybe Windows or another Linux distribution or our Ubuntu, which is in this case Linux Mint. <laughs> or you could select the previously booted entry. So then this entry you booted the last time will be selected automatically for the next time you will boot the PC. That could be helpful too. But in my case, I go to predefined, in my case Ubuntu, which is Linux Mint. and Let's come to our visibility. Here we can configure if our grub menu will be shown and after which seconds our default entry should be booted. I recommend you three seconds, but it's completely up to you. I think three is a good value for that. And if you want, you could add some kernel parameters. If you don't know what this is at all, no problem, just leave it as it is and it's fine. <laughs> and in my opinion, we won't need the other settings here. So yeah, that's fine. If you want, you could change the appearance here. If you install, if you downloaded a theme, you could add it here. But yeah, I won't recommend it because then our start menu is slower at start time. So. The default here should be fine, but if you want another color scheme for your start menu, then yeah, you could define it here. I also won't recommend any font, maybe if you want a background image, but that's okay. And if you want, you could define a specific resolution, but keep attention to it that it belongs to this order here. So our first value, then a small x, and then our second value. Don't do a comma or space in it. Uh, it only recognizes the small x here. That's very important, but you don't have to set this. So you could uncheck this if you are just fine with the default. Then yeah, that was it. In the end, let's click save. Perfect, it is updating our configuration. And after some time, we could close our Grub Customizer and uh, yeah, let's restart our PC. Here we have our menu if we press the shift key and uh, yeah, it's just fine. It's a very simple Grub menu. If there's only Linux Mint installed on this machine, this menu won't 
show up automatically. So if you want to see this menu, you have to press the shift key. Otherwise it will start Linux Mint completely hidden and you don't have to do anything. But um, yeah, if you have more operating systems installed at your computer, this menu should show up by default with some more entries. But in my case, that's okay. And uh, yeah, that is how you could define your grab menu or start menu. If this video helped you out, please leave a like and subscribe to this channel to don't miss any future videos. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.